So I'm getting ready to repot this Scandapsis pictus, pictus exotica. Um, if you want an, a super easy plant that really takes pretty low maintenance and still looks great, this is the perfect one for you. Um, you can, this can be in low light, it can be, um, you don't need to water it all the time, of course you'll start to get droopy leaves, it will speak to you, it will talk to you, but you know, I've had this hanging upstairs in kind of a low light situation, and it's, you see how small that pot is, and it's kind of starting to get kind of bare on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pot it into a bigger hanging pot. It just deserves the love, and it definitely um, is time to give it a little bit of a refresh, reboot, and also get it into something that was a little bit more suited for its size. So I'm taking out the hanging clip part, and I'll probably put it on that there. And those come off really easily just even though it doesn't look like it because I'm using one hand but they come off very easily you can see the kind of the hooks and there's like a little groove right there that you can put it under of course I don't know if this will be exactly the same as this one but then I'm going to end up taking it out and you can see how root bound it really is these can stand being root bound but you can kind of see also it kind of looks a bit dry so yeah definitely time to do something this poor thing um it it really is in need of repotting. You can see that, all those roots there. So you can see the differences in size. You have this size here, and then this obviously looks like a much bigger size. And so I'm going to fill it with some dirt on the bottom, some fresh dirt that I actually make my own dirt, and then fill up the top. So I'm gonna get it situated, and then I'll water it here in a bit. So I have it nicely situated in there. You can see plenty of space. And then I'm gonna fill it with some new dirt, and I'm actually going to use some super thrive granules I think that will be very helpful and I just kind of mix it in with the dirt there and then what I'm going to do and this is doing it one-handed so you can't it's kind of hard to but I'm going to move that out of the way I'm going to just fill in those sides there and yeah and now I repotted the whole thing so it's nicely filled in there and hopefully it will start to fill in on the top there I might put some cuttings on there but yeah it already looks happier just doing that now I'm going to water it and and I'm going to hang it somewhere and then basically I'm just reattaching this to the new pot. Now, not all pots have the exact same groove, but luckily this one does. And yeah, like I said, it looks much happier already. And I'm gonna get it watered and hang it back up. And the super easy way that you can water potted plants like this is you can just put it in a bucket. This is a Lowe's bucket. And then it kind of gets the top leaves as well. Or you can put it in a bathtub either way, but this is just a little bit easier. And I let it sit in there for a while. This seems to do really well for potted plants, especially if you're not wanting to get it all in, um, all in your tub or wherever if you don't want to take it outside. It's just the Lowe's pot there and you can see. Um, so I'll let that probably sit in there for just a little bit, not too long because actually sometimes um, you can, that can actually be a very bad thing. You don't want to end up getting root rot. So yeah, that is what I'm doing for that to water. And of course, Captain, Captain Jack's got to do more of that and just kind of get it all sprayed up there. Um, I didn't see any pests on it, but I definitely think that it's a good idea. And I'll probably put some granules in there because that's my favorite. But yeah, look at that, that leaf. Just look at that. This thing is just, I'll tell you what, this is a go-to plant for somebody that's new to plants. And if you kind of have a lower light situation, um, this is just an amazing plant. I really can't rec recommend it enough because it's just something that is super resilient and it really does talk to you, like I said, when it's thirsty. So yeah, I highly recommend it. This is the Scandapsis or Syndapsis, whichever one you want to call it, um, Pictus Exotica. And I think I bought it originally for $45, which um, at the time was kind of more of a splurge because I was like, oh, but I really wanted it. And I am, it was worth every single penny. I've also had several propagations from it. It's super easy to propagate. You just kind of cut right um, below the node and then it's just super, super easy. And you can give it to friends or family, whatever or sell it, whatever you wanna do, uh, it's totally up to you. But yeah, highly recommend this. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to mention, this was actually a propagation from this plant. You can see how well this is doing. I'm probably kind of neglecting this a little bit. I need to water it, but you can see how much can come from one plant. So the $45 was totally worth it. And I just wanted to show you the after potting it, letting it soak for just a little bit. It already looks so much happier and I will be hanging it up soon. Make sure to follow along for more videos like this. I really appreciate it. And also give this video a thumbs up if this was helpful or you find these videos, you want me to do more of them. I can definitely do that. But thank you for watching. It really means a lot.